Apple released iOS 26.2 RC or Release Candidate. Here's what you need to know. The RC or Release Candidate adds quite a few new features, but not a whole lot new compared to Beta 3. We can go into our clock on our lock screen and now adjust the opacity of liquid glass. We can make it frosted or just completely transparent or whatever we'd like, along with the size like we could before. Maybe we'll see more adjustments like this in future updates as well. Within the control center, if maybe we switch to a focus mode with sleep, they've now change the icon to purple. This is new in the RC compared to Beta 3 and earlier on, so instead of teal, it's now purple. In our accessibility settings, if we scroll down to where we have audio and visual, scroll to the bottom, one of the new features is flash for alerts, but now we can flash the display for the alert. So you can flash the screen, the LED flash, or both, however you'd prefer. And this update brings new animations. For example, you'll see menus here now pop out, and they just have a more animated look, more similar to what Apple introduced at WWDC. Within notifications, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we have a new section for enhanced safety alerts with options for earthquake alerts and imminent threat alerts. Also improve alert delivery. Also in Japan, the power button can now be changed to activate third-party assistance other than just Siri. There's also third-party app stores that should be available there as well very soon. They've also fixed the issue with the app library lagging if you had that, and also CarPlay gets some updates as well, and hopefully it's working for you. Let me know in the comments below, but there's many more features. And for all of the latest details and features, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe.